Hello, welcome in the bonus section where I will show you the most useful shortcut that's gonna save you lots of time when you're gonna develop programs, your own programs. Why? Because, you know, using your mouse is just a bit slow when you have to save things. So, for example, five and then do they go to the save here? It just takes time when you need to copy something. So when you do things like that, mouse is just always slower and you have to remember that you're gonna spend lots of time writing a code as a programmer which means that e knowing all these shortcuts is gonna save you time each day and when you multiply it by the days that you're gonna program it's gonna save you lots of days of your very precious life okay so let's start from this first shortcut Control plus s from s is from save and it's just saving the file you have you will notice that when i change anything in the program that you have got here a bold bolded file and i i'm automatically saving always using the Control plus s why because well when for example i would lose the power right I would lose all my work, right? Some editors can, you know, get back to the place where you have lost your power, but some doesn't. And this is the universal uh, shortcut you can use in an editor. So it's very important to know. it. The next one is used for, to copy things. Well, you know, it's slow to copy things like that. Mm, bam. And now, oh, here is a copy and then now enter here and then paste. It takes lots of time. You can just use Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus V. And as you can see, you can copy. And as you can see now, when I didn't want to ch have a change like that, I can go back using the Ctrl plus Z. This is very cool shortcut because it allows you to go back when you did something to your code that you didn't want to do, right? It's very, very useful. This is that one. And, but sometimes you might click it a bit too many times and you can use the Ctrl plus Y. It will redo the action, okay? So you can go back to the place where you started going back. And well, you have got, you can also cut something. So you can, you know, you don't, you can copy, but in the same time, cut the thing that you want to copy from that place. You can, for example, remove it from here and paste it here, right? Okay, let's go back to the uh, original file and let's now find out what is the Ctrl plus F shortcut. When I use the Ctrl plus F, as you can see, now I can search for things inside our project. So I can find, for example, main function. I can find, for example, where is the public keyword, where is the package, rather than things like that. I can instantly find things and it really helps you a lot. Almost any editor has got something like that. Even in the web browser, when you are browsing for something, it's very important because you're gonna browse for to, to, to learn about libraries for Java, for example, and you want to find something specific about Java, you can just use the Ctrl plus F in the web browser and you can find it faster, okay? So it's very useful shortcut. Ctrl plus A which stands for all, and you, you can just select all things from your, from your, well, program. Why something like that is needed? For example, you can just do something like that. Now then control plus C and you can paste the code from here to, for example, uh, a place where you want to ask somebody why it doesn't work, right? So we can control plus A, control plus C, control plus V somewhere else. So it's very useful. Control plus backspace. Sometimes it's gonna happen that you want to delete something, like for example, a word here, right? Um, the truth is that you want to, for example, remove a variable, but we'll talk about variables later. And if the name of variable is long, Oh, so you need to do something like backspace, 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 right? But you can also do things like control plus backspace. And as you can see, now you delete full word at once. So it's also cool. And this thing is also very useful. It is tab and shift plus tab. This one you probably know, but this one, oh, 
this is very useful and many people doesn't know that you want you can go back with your indent right uh, what do I mean? mean? Well, let's create a variable int a and let's assign here for. We'll talk about later things like that, but you know, this is a code and we are checking if a is equal to 4. If yes, then I want to print to the output, blah, 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 something like that. And well, as you can see, we have got here an indent. And sometimes you might have a problem. So, for example, you have, you have a code like that. Oh. It's not looking good, right? You can go back using the shift plus tab. As you can see, you can go back using something like that. And the cool thing is also that you can use the tab to move many, as you can see, um, things at once. And you can go back also. And uh, well, what else? You have got here also something what is called end and home on your keyboard. When you are, for example, here and you click home, you are at the beginning of the line. When you click end, you are at the end of the line. And when you want to, for example, copy something like that, you can do something like shift plus home. And as you can see, now we have got selected the line and now we can use the control plus C and now we can click end and then enter. And as you can see, now you can copy it pretty easy. What's more, you can use the shift and the arrow keys to select more than one line uh, you can also use the left and right arrow key to select specific, you know, as you can see, um, character. And then you can copy it, right? So Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. And then bam, 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 bam. As you can see, it really improves the speed of copying things on your, in your pro. Of course, I'm doing things like that very fast right now. It might be new to, to new things to you. So just train. You just need to train and finally you're gonna know all these shortcuts pretty well. You have got all them all described, you can print them, so you know, just train. And you have got also something what is called Control plus Home, uh, which allows you to jump from the place where you have got your car cursor, okay? So you can jump from here to the home of your program and to the end. It's very useful because you can sometimes you know want to go to the top of the of the program. And it's also useful because you can use the shift plus end, uh, shift control plus end, and as you can see now you are selecting with using something like that, right? Control plus shift plus end allows you to select from the place from the course course of place and home like that. There is also a very important shortcut for this editor. When you type, for example, something like system, then you click at that. As you can see, you have got here a many, many hints, right? But sometimes you can lose them. You can do something like that and you want to somehow get them back. You don't need to delete the dot in order to see the game. You can also do something like control plus space. As you can see, then you get, get hints like that. So it's very useful to get hints. You can also use the control plus space to, for example, create a code, like for example, a loop four. As you can see, then you can just change things here and you have just created a pretty uh, big code. This is called a snippet, right? You can create a snippet like that using the control plus space. And well, I want to check if something is true or not. So this is pretty useful as you can see, wide loop and other things like that. Um, okay, so that's all in the lesson. Just trained it. Well, thank you very much.